World War II officially started on September 1st, 1939, when Germany invaded Poland. But the war was truthfully beginning to spark at the end of World War I. Once Germany lost the First World War, terrible sanctions were held upon them. This placed Germany in a position of poverty. When America went into the Great Depression, the money America was loaning to Germany disappeared, making Germany's currency worthless. But then a leader emerged, a man of promise, hope, and prosperity. It was Adolf Hitler. Many Germans believed in him because he brought jobs to the hungry, the poor, and the nation. Hitler fed the nation with lies that the Germans were a superior race of humankind. He told them that the Jews were to blame for the problems in Germany. Hitler convinced his people that Germany should take land from neighboring countries because that land was rightfully theirs. He created the Nazi Party, formerly known as National Socialist Germany Workers Party. Italy and Japan, countries that also were defeated in World War I, shared similar views of hatred. The three countries united and became known as the Axis of Powers. These nations' plans were to conquer the world. Germany was the first to strike on the September 1st. Invading Poland through Blitzkrieg, also known as the Lightning War. The Polish could not match the strength of the German forces, leading the Polish to retreat. This gave the Germans an edge that would allow them to play on a more attacking role. After the Germans showed dominance in the European region, Hitler was very hungry for more. The plan was to invade more neighboring areas to expand the Nazi Reich. His aggressive and powerful military style brought his nation much success and dominance in the European nation continent. Even though America was not officially in the fight, they still supported European allies from World War I. Franklin Delano Roosevelt proposed a Lend-Lease Agreement. This would allow the United States to support countries that were vital to the United States. During August of 1941, Hitler decided to break the Nazi-Soviet Pact, and Germany invaded the Soviet, Soviet Union. Germany lost the fight due to the cold and lack of supplies for German soldiers. Uh, the Axis was afraid that if America fully joined the fight, the Axis would lose. On December 7, 1941, when Japan bombed Pearl Harbor, 2,402 people were killed and 1,282 were wounded. But the attack actually caused America to join in the fight. America got its revenge on Japan later on, during the Battle of Midway. The attack was originally supposed to be an ambush on the Americans, but the Americans broke the code and discovered the Japanese plan. Due to this information, America was prepared for the Battle of Midway and managed to sink several heavy-duty ships. This gave America the offensive edge, which ultimately led them to Japan. Now that America had the offensive edge, they had to use their strategy to win the war. Their idea was to use island hopping, which was to go to smaller islands in the Japanese region that supported Japan. And, and since these had low defense, they would not have to use as much equipment, supplies, and people. So they would slowly deteriorate the Japanese army, and soon enough they were able to attack the mainland. America was very important in Europe, uh, fighting the Germans. They, the biggest fight was on December, uh, June 6, 1944, known as the Normandy Invasion. This is also known as D-Day. It was an Allied invasion of Western Europe where Canadian, American, and British forces landed on five separate beaches in Normandy, France. The biggest attack in Europe was the Normandy Invasion, also known as D-Day. This was on June 6, 1944. It was an Allied invasion of Western Europe. The Canadian, American, and British forces landed on five separate beaches in Normandy, France. Fighting went on for the next two months, 
and by the end of August, all of northern France got taken over by the Allies. Allies went on eastward, and Soviet went westward. Normandy invasion helped stop Hitler, and eventually led the way to the end of the war in Europe. Hitler eventually committed suicide. But in Japan, America was now under Harry Truman due to the Franklin Delano Roosevelt's death. He decided to drop an atomic bomb on Hiroshima. This caused major destruction in the land, and it brought much sadness to the Japanese people. But in a few days later, they dropped a second one in Nagasaki, Japan. After this, the Japanese decided it was time to surrender, and this was the ending of Japo Japanese fight in World War II.